To find the acute angle between the intersecting lines, you need to know that the value you get will be in radians because you want to find the angle. And acute angles are less than 90 degrees, obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees. And right off the bat, you just need to, you see lines, line one and line two, you want to make vectors out of them. So you want it to be in vector i, j, k form, which if you name line one to be vector a, it would be 4i plus 8j minus 4k. And if you want line two to be vector b, your i, j, k form would be negative 4i plus 4j plus 8k. Now that you have your vectors, you want to find the dot product of both of them. So dot product of a and b would be 4 times negative 4, which is negative 16, 8 times 4, which is 32, and negative 4 times 8, which is negative 32. And 32 and negative 32 cancels out, so you are left with the dot product of a and b to be negative 16. Now, you want to find the magnitude of both a and vector b. So to find the magnitude, it would be square root of 4 squared plus 8 squared plus negative 4 squared, which is root of 96. And you want to find b, which is negative 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared, which happens to also be root of 96. And if you plug negative 16 and root of 96 is into this equation, cosine theta, you would get cosine theta equals negative 16 over root of 96 times root of, oh, that is not 96, root of 96 times root of 96, which if you plug into the calculator, make sure that your calculator is in radian form. So if you're using the Casio, you would do shift mode setup and then number four. And now you plug, oh, hold up. You want to find, okay, so find theta, it would be inverse of cosine negative 16 over root 96 times root 96, because you want to find the angle, which means you want to isolate theta. So back to where we were at. You would want to make sure that you're in radian form. And then now you want to do inverse cosine of negative 16 over root of 96 times root of 96 which you get 1.738 so this would be your angle in radian 1.738 around however you do not know if this angle is acute or obtuse and in order to know you want to set your calculator into degree mode so make sure that's in degree mode and then see if it's less than 90 degrees or more than 90 degrees so you would do inverse of cosine of negative 16 over root oops negative 16 over root of 96 times root of 96. And you see that it's 99.59, which 99.59 is more than 90, which means that this angle is obtuse. So in order to find the acute angle between the intersecting lines, you would want to subtract this angle by pi. So it would be pi minus 1.738 and now to calculate that it would be pi minus 1.738 which gives you 1.4035 so it is around 1.404 so this would be your acute angle between the intersecting lines